Hey everyone and welcome to another Stern FX tutorial and in this one I'll show you two methods for two-point tracking in After Effects. Let's take off! So here it's summer, but maybe it's winter for you. In any case, regardless of the season, you spend too much time working. So I want to recommend a break. And as you know, time flies except when you fly. But this aircraft is arriving and it's getting ready to land, so it means the vacation is about to start soon. Now, before we land, the captain asked me to show you how to attach this text to the motion of the airplane, and this is what I'm going to do. By the way, in case you want to follow along, there's a link to download this clip in the description below. Okay, so let's begin. So I'll go all the way to the beginning. I'll select the composition here. This is the clip that I want to track. And then I'll right click on it and from the track and stabilize option, I'll choose track motion. And this is going to open the clip in the layer panel as well as show me the tracker panel. Okay, so what I would like to do is take the tracker point one, click on it, wait for the double headed arrow and then I'll drag it on top of the left wheels. And I'm also going to zoom in using the option key with the scrolling mouse. This is going to zoom to the location of the mouse. And then I'll pan up just so I can see the area that I'm about to track. I think I need to expand the search area. So I'm just going to do this as well as the feature region to include the entire wheels here. So something along those lines should work. This is for track point one. Now in this case, we also want to measure not only the position, but the rotation and the scale so we can attach the data to the title that I showed you. So in the tracker panel, I'll enable rotation, which is going to add a second tracker. And if I'll enable scale, it's going to use the same tracker to measure both rotation and scale. So as before, I'll wait for the double headed arrow and this will allow me to drag everything, all the features and place them above this set of wheels. And I'll do the same in terms of the search area and the feature region. Okay, I think I'm ready to start the tracking. So I'll feed the viewer by pressing option and the forward slash this way I can monitor the result from a safe distance and then I'll click analyze forward. Once the trunking stage has completed, I'll go to the layer menu and I'll create a null object. I'll name this null TD for tracking data. I'll return back to the tracker panel, click on edit target Make sure to select this null object, click OK, and finally click Apply, and OK again to apply both X and Y dimensions, as well as the scale and rotation values to this tracker. So now this tracker is going to follow not only the transform, but also measure the rotation of the aircraft, as well as the scaling of it. And I'm going to attach the text in terms of parenting at the last frame to this tracker by taking the parent and link pick whip and pointing it to this null object. And then I can close this layer, go to the beginning and press spacebar to check the result. Now, as you can see, it works quite nice, but it's a bit shaky. So there is a way to smooth it out using the smooth expression. So first I'll press S to see the scale and then I'll hold down shift and press R to also isolate the rotation. I'll hold the option key, Alt on Windows and click to enable an expression for both of them. I'll start with the scale. So I'll highlight this value and type down the word smooth after Effects is going to help me so I can press return to accept the correct syntax. And over here, I can enter two values, which is very similar to the wiggle, but actually does the opposite thing. 
The first value is how wide the sample space is going to be in seconds. So if I'm going to tell it to smooth over one second, this is what is going to be. Now, if I want, I can add a comma and then add a second value to define how many keyframes the expression is going to sample. If I'm not going to define it, the expression is going to sample all the keyframes, which usually works, but you can try different values over here as well. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it with just a single digit, one, and click away. Now I want to apply the same thing for the rotation. So I'm going to open it up, click over here, and again, I can start to type in the word smooth, enter one, and click away. Now let's go back to the beginning and press spacebar to see if the result is smoother. And I think it is. If you want to lower the title so it won't be visible at the first frame here, you can select the text itself and you can just drag it outside of the frame. Remember, this is still a child of the tracking data, so you can move it independently. All right, the second method that I want to show you is probably better, but it involved the Mocha AE plugin that some of you shy away from. Now, I'm a big Mocha fan, not only the tracker, but also the drink as well. And I'm planning to cover it in more depth in a future tutorial. But for now, let me show you how we can utilize it to analyze the same motion and apply it to the title. So from the project panel, I'll open another clean version of the same composition, but this time I'll select the aircraft clip and apply the Mocha AE plugin to it. I'll click on the Mocha logo to get into the interface. And over here, I'll use the rectangular X spline tool to marquee around the wheels. Then I'll switch off the skew. So I'm only going to analyze the transform scale and rotate features. And then I'll track this area forward or backward or in both directions, depending on the starting frame. Now Mocha is a planner tracker meaning that it looks for the texture underneath the search area. It will collect all the information at once, so we don't need to worry about defining additional points or tracker, and we don't even need to look at the surface tool. Once the tracking is complete, you can save the result and you can close the plugin. Back inside After Effects, open the tracking data section click on create track data and choose the layer that you just created. Next, change the export option to transform and then let's create a null object that will hold the tracking data. And once it's in the timeline, we can select it under the pop-up menu of the layer export to menu. And finally, we'll click apply export. Then let's go to the last frame of this composition and parent the text to the null object. Remember that parenting in After Effects is sensitive to time. So this is why I create the relationship over here. And that's it. The text is now following the aircraft motion, rotation and scale quite accurately. And there you have it. Two methods for tracking the position, rotation, and scale, also known as two-point tracking in After Effects. Use whatever works best for you and make sure to enjoy your vacation. When you return, tune back here because I have more tracking tutorials coming your way. We still need to talk about corner pin, mask and face tracking, and of course, 3D camera tracking. All of this and more is coming soon to this channel, so stay tuned and stay tracked.